What's up YouTube? Andy here. Uh, today is Saturday morning. So we're at Revival Fitness. Uh, it's in Santa Ana, California. And it's just a really cool bodybuilding gym. They have a lot of uh, unique equipment that you know you won't find at a typical gym. And the owners uh, have you know sought out these pieces of equipment, collecting them. So they just um, it's just a really great gym uh, if you like into bodybuilding and it's a really good vibe and everyone's like really serious and into like uh, more bodybuilding versus just powerlifting and so today we're doing legs uh, me and Ken and um, so we, I've been back into powerlifting more transitioning um, doing more squats SSB and deadlifts and bench uh, but today is like a pivot week meaning I've done uh, SSB for the last four weeks it's kind of instead of like doing a deload uh, I just switch the exercises that way it's a different stimulus and you know usually on the first week of a new exercise I don't go as heavy uh, just because it's a newer movement and so that's what we're going to do today. I think the, the main squat movement today will be the hack squats. So um, other than that, it'll just be kind of like a you know, bunch of powerlifting or bodybuilding exercises after the hack squats. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Where your backbone, nigga, where your cold at? Where your dance is 
Yeah, you don't really take a stance on the dog behind where I'm going to get it. Fuck where y'all hoes at? Where y'all rolls at? Where y'all backbone?
J's at the door If I ever get a bitch, man, she got it off the floor I woke up this morning Like I'm on my way to the morning
All right, everyone, that was our awesome leg workout. See, Ken didn't work out very hard. He's kind of coasted today. <laughs> uh, just kidding. This is why like one of our harder leg days in a long time. Uh, I think mostly because, like, like I said, we were deloading this week. We've been pushing it for four or five weeks straight. Hit some deadlift PRs earlier this week. So uh, kind of just mentally and CNS-wise, just down the drain a little bit. So, uh, you know, it's a good time to, like, switch it up change our exercise for the for the Saturday leg, leg workout and man honestly like you saw the hack squat like that Cybex one is no joke like at the other other uh, machines like uh, hack squat machines I can usually do like nine ten plates aside for sets of eight we only got up to six 
six plates aside for eight, and that was like killer. Um, I mean, part of the fatigue, but also just that that hack squat just some reason way heavier so it's not about the angle or something yeah yeah i hadn't done them in a little while but it's good to feel that all that squatting is paying off a little bit knees are feeling better and always a task trying to keep up with this guy for yeah. legs but yeah. what better way to grow them, right so yeah uh, i think uh ken's about 15 months post injury surgery yep um kind of talk about the progress and the how they're feeling and everything on your knees and stuff yeah um it's feeling much better uh squatting been pushing that up until uh, this week for the last four weeks or so just uh, plus 10 kilograms a week uh, it's gone from being a little bit painful at the bottom to nowadays just maybe a little bit of tightness uh, all things considered I got to be grateful with that kind of progress and uh, today too coming back to leg extensions those were a big uh, problem for me in the past just something about that extending the knees under tension and uh, today they felt not great but not as bad so moving in the right direction and Starting to move a little bit of weight again to get these things to grow back. So I'm grateful and excited for what the future holds as we keep up in the weights and uh, having fun with the training process. So. Yeah. So as far as weights, like, what are you weighing now? You said uh, 309 this morning. Morning weight. 309, so, yeah. and you're doing more cardio and not eating as much as you used to, but the weight kind of just stays there, right? I guess my body likes to be like this. <laughs> now. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, that's a, that's good. I think you're at a point where like. This weight is more normal for you versus like in the, a year ago, you're or kind of force feeding, kind of force feeding just there, to maintain yeah. this. So like definitely it means you're growing muscle and you said you're getting leaner now. So yeah, and feeling better too with just keeping up with the cardio. I think uh, it's important not to neglect that, especially in my size, uh, yeah. just for quality of life. And I mean, I was real winded during these sets today, but I can only imagine if I didn't have the cardio base, I'd be <laughs> sprawled out on the floor for a few <laughs> minutes. So yeah. Yeah. And for me, um, I think a while back, I don't know, in my last videos, but like I told, I was gonna start a cut. I started a cut. Uh, I think second week of January. So I'm on like week four, and I'm down like total from when I started. Like the weight loss was like 25 pounds. I'm around 263, 264 in the morning. Um, what I've been doing in the last three four months is just I would, I would diet pretty hard for like three four weeks, then I take a week or two just to maintain. So it's kind of like this ladder or step approach because I just I, mentally I just don't want to go like 10 12 straight weeks of just dieting I like the little breaks to maintain it's got a good good uh, kind of just good balance between pushing it and then maintaining and so it's been working pretty well for me um, so you guys see some posing I did I suck at posing like I haven't bodybuilding forever so I'm just kind of like feeling out just like so, just to show you guys like my, my progress what I look like but um, overall I'm happy with it I think, um, so we're going to Miami next week because uh, uh, it's the Ghost Clash meet. We have, Iron Rebel has four athletes and John's going to be there so I'm going to handle, help handle John. So I'll kind of take the week, uh, next week or two to just kind of maintain shows as I'm traveling. And then I'll probably do one more like last push three, four weeks and just see how much leaner I can get. Um, doing cardio four or about five, six days a week, anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes. And you know, it's nothing intense. Like, I don't know what you're doing in the morning. Yeah, first thing in the morning, 20, 20 minutes on the elliptical. Um, maybe once or twice a week, I'll throw in a little stairmaster for a little higher intensity in the afternoons. But for the most part, just consistent with the morning cardio. It doesn't take a lot, but just you know. Yeah. No, ma no matter how hard you go in cardio, whether it's 30 minutes, 45 minutes, even if you go super hard, if you don't diet right, you're not going to burn off like what you're eating. Like you can go as hard as you can for 30 minutes, but you can fuck that up real easy, mess that up. You gotta beep. That. Uh, in like two minutes of eating so um, cardio is just more to, to just get your heart going add some extra calories to burn off but not that's not like your key to weight loss um, it just helps you also speeds up your digestion and like I said it's good for your heart health um, so yeah that's kind of, kind of update um, I am we're, we're in today's the 11th February 11th uh, so I got about eight months a little over eight months till my next meet the uh, American Pro in the end of uh, October. So I'm still like kind of a dieting phase. I think, like I said, after the ne next push, then I'll slowly bulk it back up. But I want to try to do it slowly so I don't gain a lot of fat. And then Ken, like, would you have any plans of competing? What's the... I haven't decided timeline? on an official meet yet, but... Uh, timeline. Just kind of same time frame, maybe end of this year, enjoying some off season, leaning up a little bit, slowly working the legs back into better shape. And, uh, you know, we'll build it up and see what happens for end of this year. Yeah. And something together. Cool. 
yeah so that's where I up today uh, well, obviously we could do more videos um, it'll be a lot more still a little more bodybuilding but you'll, you'll see how I transition into powerlifting so I'll see you guys how I I'll show you guys how I kind of incorporate both and transition into it but other than that we'll see you in the next video